Chapultepec Forest, twice the size of Central Park, is named after a grasshopper. Here you see the mountain with a river underneath and an aqueduct and a grasshopper. All the new tall buildings are here instead of downtown because this was lakeshore, not lake bed. Pre-Hispanically, there were five lakes, some salt, some fresh, with walls that the pre-Hispanics paid for, to keep them separate, and then the Spanish came and rammed the walls with their ships, so the water mixed and flooded, but they succeeded in draining it, but the lake still wants to be a lake, so the drainage core has lots of work to do. The lake also still wants to quake, what can you do? Well, you can build skyscrapers with numerous dampers, which work like car shock absorbers, and so they did. This brings us to the statue of Diana, goddess of the hunt, pointing to the forest. Violetta tells us that the Catholic hierarchy made them cover it up in 1942. They uncovered it in 1968, as it was finally okay to have a naked lady standing there. The monument to the 200th anniversary of independence in 1810 was supposed to cost 10 million pesos. It ended up costing 208 million. So it's called the Corruption Tower. Well, not officially. In 2009, in the state of Sonora, a fire spread from a restaurant into Hermosilla Daycare Center, and there weren't enough exits, so 49 children died. If you rearrange the letters in not enough exits, it spells the word corruption. Sort of. Activists keep this display active at the foot of the Corruption Tower. was considered an important space for the indigenous. Uh, since the pre-Hispanic moment, and even nowadays, they consider some group of indigenous people, they consider this cover, this entrance, the entrance to the other world, to the ah. inframundo. So sometimes we can see people with ceremonies or something because they consider like uh, this is the entrance, a sacred entrance. In 1847, the United States entered Mexico via Veracruz, that is to say the army did, in order to collect some debts, which were unpayable. Mexico didn't have the money, so the U.S. took President Santa Ana prisoner. Chapultepec Castle was the military's training center. Inside, the military cadets from 13 to 19 years old put up a defense. The Niños Héroes, or Child Heroes, are a beloved part of Mexican history. In the end, Santa Ana sold the north of Mexico to the U.S. <laughs>